this is one question from arithmetic progressions where uh, the mother gave uh, on the birth to a child rupees 90,000 when she or he is born. And I think this would be considered as zero year. And this uh, she kept on adding on each birthday rupees 30,000 more as the lasting memory for the children she bore. And question is when this much 4 lakh 20,000 is trustly attained, she goes to the charity that her memory to be maintained. Now, what we can see that uh, we have to find in the first part, what is the balance? What's the balance in the sixth year? Now, let's check here that, as I said, this is a question of arithmetic progression. So we'll say A0, well, A0, that is at the time of birth, it is 90,000. So therefore, uh, A1, that is the next year, next year it is after one year, not next year. You can see that the first, when the child is one year old, it's 90,000 plus 30,000 because this is being added each year. So we get A1 from here, that is first term, as per it should be 1 lakh 20,000. Now we got this. Uh, and similarly, we can find, say, the common difference clearly 30,000 is added. So this should be, we can say that here D, that is the common difference is there. So we have A and A clearly is not this because this is at the time of birth after attaining one year. Now from here, we can find applying the formula An is equal to A plus N minus 1D. We are going to find the charity for the sixth year. Now we are going to replace n with six and a with one lakh twenty thousand. So what we'll get here? Now this uh, we have a as from here that's one lakh twenty thousand. That is one two zero followed by one two three zeros four zeros plus n replacing n with six here because we are going to find the sixth year. Six minus one is five and five times. This will be 5 times D and D is D we have as 30,000. So this is 30,000. Now, if I add these values, this is 1, 2 followed by 4 zeros plus 5 into 3 is 15. So 15 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So now it's coming to be 2, 7 followed by 4, 0 rupees. So that is 2,70,000 will be there in the sixth year. Now, as I proceed with the next part, what we have to get here. The next part, they are asking in which year the total goal, in which year was the goal of this much rupees is attained. That means here we know AN. AN is mentioned and we have to find N in this case. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the an here yeah, the an that is the nth term is 4 2 it is 4 2 followed by four zeros and we have to get n in this case now i'm going to replace an with a formula that is a plus n minus 1 d is equal to 4 2 followed by four zeros now, A will remain same as we have calculated is 1,20,000. That's 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Plus N is what we have to get into D. D is already calculated, is given as 30,000. Is equal to 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Now, we are going to simplify this part in order to get the value of N. Now, from here, if I continue solving, what I'm going to do is transposing this value to the other side. So it's going to be n minus 1, that multiplied by 30,000 is equal to this minus this is how much it should be. Three lakh. Now, if I transpose this to the other side and divide it, we are going to get this as 10. So we have n minus 1 is equal to 10. That implies n is equal to 10 plus 1, that is 11. 
So the answer for the second part should be, for this part it should be, that is on 11th year or in 11 years.